fine you are able to hear me yeah good evening yeah please confirm once that uh, everything is fine audio video everything yeah yeah okay i think i think uh, i think i'm audible yeah ritesh pooja can you please confirm yeah okay great yeah so this is this is a session for upsc uh, titan 2.0 2024 this is an opportunity for all those who had missed titan 1.0 they could not join titan 1.0 and that is the reason ki you know we are coming back with this new uh, you can say opportunity this new window uh, titan 2.0 2024 english batch yeah so hi everyone good evening so let's start the session let's talk about so first of all yeah thank you everyone uh, all those who have supported us uh, all those who are part of sankal 1.0 sankal 2.0 right all those who have supported us in in this whole upsc wala uh, revolution and congratulations to all of you congratulations to uh, alak sir who has made this whole preparation highly affordable highly accessible who has given this platform to both of us right ki we are contacting we are actually uh, talking to each other and are in touch with each other we are getting this opportunity to you know teach you all connect with you all right so yeah so let's start this session let's talk about what's happening so this batch is starting on 20th february right that means this is starting day after tomorrow today is saturday from monday this batch will start so those of you who have missed this batch let me tell you about you know titan titan 2.0 so this is this is the faculty lineup there is thapa sir uh, akilesh sir uh, you know i am also teaching in this batch along with me ritesh sir is there then kapil sikka sir and there are all the you know good faculties of pw all the cream faculties of the country who are presently teaching at physics wala right they will be teaching you in this batch so let me talk about few batch details Uh, then i will also tell you what i'll be taking up and i'll also take your doubts in the end we'll also talk about some upsc stuff ki you know how to think about upsc why to think about upsc we'll be discussing that so let's start with details of these batches uh, this titan 2.0 batch so now now uh, so all the all the all the classes all the subjects will be actually updated with current affairs so suppose kapil sikka sir is teaching polity to you or let's say i am teaching uh, modern india ancient india anything which is related to the subject which is running in current affair which is actually connected with current affair right so these batch will be updated with all those information all those things right so current affair update yes all this these classes will be updated with current affair plus you will be also taught current affair so you don't have to worry about you know what all things are happening outside what all things are happening in the hindu or indian express or basically in our country or outside country also we will be providing you topic wise pdf notes so suppose let's say i'm teaching uh, moran empire to you so you will be given notes on moran empire also once i teach moran empire along with the class there will be a subject matter expert who has a good expertise in the subject who has good expertise you know of upsc csc right maybe who has given mains or interview they will be taking notes from my classes along with you they will also be making notes of my classes and those notes will be provided to you so now you have your own notes to rely on plus also you can rely upon the notes of these experts this will make your preparation very smooth very easy suppose you are missing something or you think you will you will not be able to make notes or you only want to listen to me in the class you have somebody who is creating notes for you this is amazing feature pw team is working very very hard on this and they are coming up with the daily notes provided after every class within within a span of 24 hours right so you will be having topic wise pdf notes along with the daily notes 
but but you know uh, it will not function well or you will not be prepared well if you are not practicing along with us if you are not practicing along with the classes so what we do we have this concept of dpp right dpp so you will be given 10 questions on the daily classes these are mcqs that is daily practice paper so there will be 10 mcqs on what i have taught in the class right so 10 mcqs to practice what has been taught in the class along with that you know there will be one mains model answer because the whole foundation batch titan 2.0 is not only about prelims examination right but it is also about mains examination in fact we don't differentiate that whether we teaching for prelims or mains this is holistic preparation i will not teach ancient india for prelims i will not teach ancient india for mains but i will teach history for prelims as well as mains so this is going to be you know a holistic experience an exhaustive experience exhaustive you can say learning which will cater prelims as well as mains you don't have to you know think ki, okay what to do for mains this will be this is going to be the holistic preparation uh, the lecture as well as the practice so practice is also super important and we ensure that you are practicing along with the lectures next thing is uh, yeah so good the good part is the orientation class or you can say the first class of the you know batch is free for all everybody can attend those classes so that you get uh, you can say a taste of it ki how the classes will be conducted how you know how the uh, interface looks like how the doubt engine looks like how you can chat with you uh, with the teacher or with the friends right so all those things you'll be able to experience in the first class orientation class and also we have some announcement to make in the end of the course uh, i will tell you a special announcement a special thing so in the end of the course i will make one announcement will let you know something more about this also also what about study material so study material uh, we have recently launched our current affair magazine which is manthan so manthan has already been launched this current affair magazine holistically covers the current affair which is happening in this month right so now what happens you don't have to make notes on the daily basis from the hindu or indian express or any other source you can simply read the paper if you are able to if you can actually allocate some time and make notes that's great super but but in the case you are not able to make those notes or even if you are making those notes it will actually supplement that it will actually support that or it can be entirely you can say referred alone right even if you don't have notes you don't only go through the papers only go through the uh, you know current affair lectures that is good enough along with this magazine you can actually ace current affair then not only current affair we have some porn notes now what is some porn notes some porn notes is basically comprehensive notes for all the subjects right it is more like a you know ready reckoner or it's a book which you can refer suppose some porn notes for modern india you can rely on the some porn notes of modern india so you will be given some porn notes for all the subjects now what is gatiman gatiman we launched recently for prelims preparation so these are very short notes of the you know same topics so that you can quickly revise the subject right this will not make take much time right so you can also revise from sampoorn you can also rely completely on sampoorn but in case you want a ready rakhna you want something you know which can quickly feed you the whole thing right gatiman is the go to uh, go to magazines right the go to books so gatiman sampoorn and manthan this will be provided to you along with as i told you daily notes daily notes is something which is one stop solution yeah okay then again talking about practice so i told you about dpps which you will be practicing on the daily basis but there is a concept of weekly test every sunday every sunday we conduct a weekly test in which we test for all the topics being taught or which was taught in that particular week right so there will be 50 mcqs based upon what was taught on that in that particular week right so 50 mcqs on sunday for this thing along with 10 questions 10 mcqs from current affair so that you are not only practicing uh, practicing your core subjects history and all but you are also practicing current affair along with the along with the week right along with that as as i said kiha mains is equally important so there will be five mains focused questions as well 
you will be given around 60 minutes for this particular test so every week you are getting prepared you, you can say you know that one percent improvement or you know two percent improvement is happening every week week by week you will be completing your a lot of topics one subject at a time or basically you can say two subject at a time gradually you will be completing all the syllabus of upsc csc right whatever slides are being used in the class even those slides with the annotation made by the teacher you will be given those slides as well if you want to let's say suppose i made some uh, mind map in the class and you want to refer to that mind map if you want to refer to that timeline you know for future or for revision you can actually use these slides as well uh, if i especially talk about my slides my slides are more like a study material if you want to read them after the class if you want to get if you want to give a post reading to the class uh, to the uh, to the sites yes you can do that as well now very important thing uh, thing is you know in the preparation is doubts definitely you'll be having a lot of doubts during the preparation right you will also be you know coming up key why this happened or why this did not happen right what was the reason behind that so there will be you know some doubts coming in and you can use doubt engine doubt engine doubt engine you know the team experts pw experts they will also be answering you in the doubt engine along with that we will also take up doubt engine what i do after the class after every class i give like 15 20 minutes to you see whatever i have taught if you want to ask something related to it or something i have taught previously you are free to ask any question we will we will be you know taking up in the class as well yeah so doubt engine is also there to solve all your doubts so that you know you are completely thorough you know what have been taught and you are actually uh, you can say uh, you can you have already already retained it very very important yeah so all these offerings all these things are being provided to you in titan 2.0 similarly we have already provided the same in sankalp 2.0 sankalp 1.0 right all these offerings again as i said if you are not able to join titan 1.0 again the window is open you can you know join us you can uh, prepare with us in titan 2.0 again batch details let me tell you about the timings and everything yeah yeah so uh, somebody is asking sir what about essay yes it will be taught all the topics which, which are related to foundation which are related to general studies will be taught don't worry about that essay will also be taught now now uh, so let me tell you about the details uh, macro details so yeah it's going to be complete english language batch it's titan 2.2 start date i already told you is 20th february then schedule uh, there will be two lectures every day monday to friday so weekday two lectures two lectures every day yeah so two lectures and weekly test on sunday your subscription end date or you can say by the time your whole uh, by the way you will also be able to see the recordings right so suppose you have missed a lecture you can go back and see the recording suppose you want to watch it again you can do as many times you want right so you have the subscription till 31st december 2024 that means you have the subscription or the access even after your mains examination of 2024 this is sufficient time to actually revise as many times you want to watch classes whenever you want right so you have this you can say flexibility with your subscription that your recordings your lectures will be there for a very very long time with you uh, schedule as i said it is monday to friday the price of the course is 9999 now there will be two slots one will be morning slot for example from monday kapil sikka sir will be teaching polity in the morning slot 8 am to 10 am this is am and evening slot i will be teaching ancient india uh, in the evening slot 8 pm to 10 pm so this is the indicative or tentative timing which we will be following in this batch okay so how to enroll for this batch right uh, I'll, I'll take all your all your doubts don't worry so how to enroll in this batch so let we have a small presentation for you so you need to go to our website click on upsc you need to select upsc in the panel site panel right so that you you are with the upsc batches click on foundation scroll down upsc titan 2.0 right click on explore so that you can see what all things are there in the batches all the details about the batches faculty and everything is here then you can you can click on classroom so that you know when whenever there is a class it will be displayed here announcement any announcement any notice will be made over here and then you need to click on the batch 
right at this point start click on pay plan uh, pay now right and then then the payment gateway page will uh, open payment gateway i think you all are an expert with respect to this you can pay via card you can pay via upi wallet whatever suits you whatever makes you happy right you can use it to make the payment right pay you can put your upi here yeah you can put your upi here and then you can make the payment okay coming back so yeah so batch enrollment we discussed batch enrollment uh, next next let me talk about two faculties who are starting this batch right and i'll take your doubts uh, okay yeah so uh, batch so i'll be starting your batch i'm abhishek shivasto and i'm teaching for upsc csc for last 8 years uh, i'm an author as well and i write for upsc csc i'm an expert in history and culture uh, then originally basically jo hai i'm uh, i'm a marine engineer i'm pass out from indian maritime university and then i sailed for some time i was working with mitsu usk lines it is one of the famous or biggest japanese uh, shipping company uh, then after that i started preparing and then uh, after my mains examinations and all i started teaching for upsc csc so right now i have almost 8 years of experience along with me my co faculty kapil sikkar sir he is also a very famous esteemed faculty who will be teaching polity to you uh, he has also lot uh, he has also taught a lot of students uh, he teaches polity economy and some other subjects as well right he is also having an experience of around 9 years so uh, he will be teaching polity to you in the morning slot i will be teaching ancient india i'll start with ancient india and then other history topics i'll be teaching in the evening slot to start with now let me tell you about about uh, ancient india which i'm going to start so when i say history right when i say ancient india usually student thinks that you know there will be battles there will be stories ancient india but what upsc wants you to learn what upsc wants that you should know about ancient india or medieval india and then modern india of course but but if we talk about ancient india the first thing which you need to understand is the political history Pol political history basically you need to understand the dynasties and their contribution for example contribution of let's say if we talk about Mauryan Empire contribution of Chandragupta Maurya contribution of Bindusara contribution of Ashoka. If you are talking about Gupta Empire, the contribution of Chandragupta, Samudragupta, Chandragupta, Skandagupta, Kumar Gupta, all those contributions, their time, their era, all those things will be talking about in the political history. We usually think that ancient India is about this. UPSC wants you to understand this, but this is a myth. UPSC basically wants you to understand the administration part. in administration we will go through how it all evolved from where initially we will see that there was a democratic setup or there was a tribal setup but from there how this monarchy came when monarchy came what kind of monarchy setup we saw initially when we say when we talk about mauryan empire we see a very strong centralized empire very heavy bureaucracy very central control right very strong central control but gradually we see that the strength of the center is gone gradually we see there is decentralization why was there such a decentralization why there is any military element coming when we talk about satvahana why is there decentralization or feudalism during during the era of guptas all these aspects we'll be talking about administration this is something which upsc wants you to know because tomorrow you will be going or you will be administering some uh, maybe district or some let's say uh, tomorrow if you are going to be a dm then you are going to administer a area and this will give you a lot of insight this will give you a lot of understanding how to tackle all those things similarly the next genre which is important here is economy starting from barter system starting from the evolution of agriculture being an agrarian economy why agriculture is important for us why agricultural surplus is important for any urbanization so yes most important aspect over here is agriculture we'll talk about agriculture 
during various era during various time right with agriculture we'll also talk about livestock and when there is agricultural surplus we have trade what happens when we have you can say surplus amount of trade what you know how trade is connected to urbanization how trade is connected to prosperity how trade is connected to the strength of the empire all those things all those interconnection interlinkages interconnection between economy and administration all those things we will be you know uh, learning in history not only in ancient but also in medieval also in modern india and the last aspect very very important the last aspect is the societal aspect society upsc wants you to understand the stratification in society upsc wants you to understand how one system came into being how this division came into being especially especially how religion came into picture and religion along with religion various philosophies and if you see upsc is very particular of very uh, you can say uh, fond of buddhism and jainism right we see a lot of questions coming from buddhism and jainism from here right also when we talk about society another aspect which is important is status of women since when status of women is low why was there a time when we see upliftment since when we see sati right since when we see parda system all those things all those aspects we will be discussing in society over the period of over various you know eras various time and the you know in one more important aspect one more genre which is culture though culture we will cover in detail separately when we talk about culture particularly right but here also i'll be talking about suppose we are talk, we are studying modern empire so we will talk about cultural contribution of modern empire suppose if we are studying about ashoka we will talk about how and why he was thinking in stones why he was creating edicts why he started cave architecture why he was creating those you know jo hai uh, pillars and all so all those things we will be talking about you know cultural contribution when we are discussing any dynasty or any era by the way during the whole discussion we'll be using a lot of timelines for example just to give you an example so this is something which i want every learner to make in the copy or to draw in the copy along with me and this is also the notes which i provide in the class this is also something which will help you retain much better so for example we are talking about rigvedic era rigvedic era starting from 1500 bce to 1000 bce right now in this era we will talk about again all those aspects for example aryans came into picture or aryans came to india in this era and where did they reside what is their administration what is their economy suppose they are pastoral not suppose they are pastoral they are more into domestication of animal they are nomadic plus plus what is the status of religion here what is the status of society here what is the status of women here are you getting a point so administration economy society right and what is rigved and why rigved why are we choosing rigved to study this era why this 500 you know 500 years we are talking about these 500 years in history based upon a religious book rigved why so we'll be discussing all these aspects similarly when we moved to moved from rigvedic to later vedic what all changes happened and why now later vedic goes to 1000 bc to 500 bc and at this point there is movement from there is a shift from pastoral to agriculture along with this 1000 bc you know also comes with a super power there is one more addition in this era which is iron 
and what happens when iron comes into picture right so we'll be discussing about all these genres their transition what happens then in mahajanpadas and this is how we can paint the whole picture suppose if we are talking if we are talking about economy we see pastoral economy over here we see dominance of animals over here but but as we move from this era to this era we realize agriculture is more important domestication of animals has been relinquished or basically left in past and as we move from here to here we see we see trade we see cities we see states coming in we see army kings but why so we will be able to understand this whole process this whole transition right once we you know once we go through ancient india in detail and i'll be talking about the whole process i'll be starting from lithic ages right let me clarify that part as well i'll be starting from paleolithic lithic ages paleolithic then of course meso then neo so we will talk about this transition what we were we were in paleolithic what kind of stones we were using why we were using those kind of stones when did we start speaking when did we start understanding each other right when did we start painting and why mesolithic right what is neolithic what is the change what is the process over here and then then neo to charcoalithic when we had copper okay so let me not bore you many of you don't know all this though okay so let's not talk about this anymore but all these things will be covered along with this charcoalithic one more thing let me write is indus valley and then rigveda and all will come so my point is we will start from the beginning we will start from our you can say the point where we knew nothing where we knew you know where we were australopithecus where we you know didn't didn't know how to use a stone right and we were not aware that even a stone can be used even a rock could be used for us from that point till the point where we came here and we are starting using this pen we are writing on the board so complete history how this whole evolution will uh, you know took place you know how this whole evolution take jahe took place and how how the all the genres administration economy society everything evolved all these things will be discussed in detail in the whole history package in my courses right and as i as i have shown uh, i'll be making a lot of timelines i'll be using a lot of mind maps in these classes so that so that you can retain you can also write it down in your notes and eventually this will help you revise in a much better fashion yeah so this was about my subject this is only this was only about ancient india i'll be teaching you medieval modern and uh, culture right so all those topics i'll be teaching you yeah so the most important part before before you join this batch i'll be i'll be taking up doubts in some time before you join this batch the first thing you need to understand let's come back to yeah okay so yeah so before before uh, you know you decide to go for this batch or before you go before you decide that okay you know this is the thing and you need to start first thing you need to figure out why you want to prepare for upsc right the first thing you need to have in you is a burning desire to become an is officer right because this journey this whole batch will be like 800 900 hours right we'll be teaching you for 800 900 hours right again there will be a batch classes right then then you will have to revise then you need to practice right and this will take and this will take a lot of time are you ready to allocate this much are you ready to toil are you ready to hustle see the reward is very high see the reward is very very high once you become an is officer you you can say this is this is a new life right a new life a new opportunity a new platform is waiting for you no doubt about that but but it will not come without this hustle attending all the classes making making notes or at least working with me right see joining batch is not something not a not a you know you can say jo hai uh, it's not a brave thing to do right but you should be ready if you really want to join a batch you should be ready to go through this whole process to go through classes practice revise practice 
and and then become perfect not only not only for prelims practice is not only for prelims but practice for mains as well and if you if you are ready to commit to this right then only you should you should you should go for this preparation and i must tell you that this whole upsc preparation you must understand that upsc preparation gives you a lot of knowledge a lot of wisdom a lot of freedom right uh, you will you will be you, you can say once you go through all these subjects and you study history geography polity economy science and tech environment ethics you will feel that you have learned a lot you know there will be a lot of wisdom coming to you and that wisdom brings a lot of you can say freedom for you but the point is the point is this will definitely demand hustle this will definitely demand hard work are you ready to you know take this challenge if you are ready to take this challenge if you are ready to do this hustle then only you know you should jump into this preparation but but let me tell you the subjects are easy right this whole syllabus is very easy history i tell you i love history i love his teaching history culture i love learning is i'm still i still believe that i'm a learner and i still you know I'll go through a lot of books and new books and all and i believe that it's very intriguing it's very uh, you can say uh, uh, fulfilling when you when you learn all these things you will love this whole journey but the point is that though there is no nothing as a tough subject there is no tough subject there is nothing which you cannot learn it is very very easy but the point is that journey is long right and it will take toil right it will it will definitely challenge you and and as i said as i said that you should be able to you know fight this you should come out as a warrior and you should you you, you can say that you should be targeting like rank 1 right if you are here you should be targeting rank 1 your first motive once you start prepare preparation is that you want to become rank 1 of 2024 if you are not ready to give this commitment if you are not ready to take this a uh, challenge if you're not ready to promise that you will be becoming rank 1 2024 then you need to think again right rethink that whether you want to do this or not so i hope i made my point let me let me take uh, doubts from you if there is any doubt is sampurna book for mains yes sampurna book is sampurna as the name suggested is comprehensive it is for prelims and mains both uh why do, why don't you teach at praharvat uh see uh, you know there's a, a long lineup of faculties all faculties are great uh, are doing good they teach really well so uh so we you know teach at teach in different batches depending upon how the batches are being allocated by the pw team right okay so that's how this is being planned uh by which month will the syllabus be completed you will be uh, you can assume that around 9 months to 10 months this will take to complete the syllabus right but yes you will be provided the whole planner so that you know by by what time what subject is being completed and by what time the whole uh, process will be completed a uh, gpat and niper okay point taken sarvesh right jo hai uh, i'll convey this to the team and they will definitely prepare for it Samir is asking, "What about CSAT? Yes, CSAT will also be taught with this. Okay, will science and technology and environment will be taught in this batch? Yes, science and tech and environment will also be taught in this batch. All the GS subjects, general study subjects, will be taught in this batch. What about essay and ethics? Yes, essay and ethics will also be taught in this batch. Uh, who is the faculty for ethics to this batch? Uh, I will not be able to comment on that. Uh, Atul, just a second." i'm not very sure about the name but yes uh, yeah i'm not very sure about the name but he has recently joined and uh, he is one of the you can, you can say known faculty for ethics he will be taking up ethics in your batch uh, when all subjects of sankal 2.0 english will start when all subjects of sankal 2.0 english sankal 2.0 english has already started ck uh, i'm not very sure what you are asking over here but i think sankalp 2.0 modern india is already on and along with that i think economy is economy is on right okay so it's already on should ncert be already covered good question navin uh, ncert it's good if you have foundation if you have read those books so that you have you can say uh, pre lubricated or you can say uh, a bit aptitude or attitude towards the subject but even if you have not read it right it's okay go through the courses and if you are able to understand everything it's fine right uh, ncrts are technically to help you understand the subject especially if you have never read the subject 
Suppose if you have never read ancient India, you have no idea about ancient India and maybe you know in the very first class you feel that okay I have, I have I don't know what is Pali or what is Lithic no idea never ever heard about it so maybe then maybe then and if you're not able to understand the class maybe then you can go through the uh, uh, this uh, NCRT so that you have a bit of foundation in this and then you can go with the classes otherwise it is not mandatory it is not at all uh, you can say prerequisite ki without NCRTs you will not be able to do the foundation batch no no it is not at all that uh, NCRTs were very very important at one point of time when there were no guidance not much content available at that point of time NCRTs were the only savior but that is not the case now there is a lot of content for example my ancient India my ancient India yeah, modern India all those things covers a lot of aspects of NCRTs as well important aspects of NCRT so even if you have not studied NCRTs, it does not matter, it's perfectly fine. Uh, guys, I will not be able to comment on who is teaching uh, what. Uh, let the team come uh, come back on this. Right, they will declare what all teachers are teaching which subject. Right now, I am very much clear about polity and history. Right, I am teaching history and Kapil Sikha sir is teaching, is teaching polity. Right, but uh, uh, as soon as possible, I will get back to you on this. how you'll be getting the monthly current affair magazine that will be uploaded on the portal uh, you can download from the portal uh, you'll be getting all the current affair magazines like that important subjects like governance ethics are missing in the course description they will also be taught governance will also be taught along with the polity but governance will not be taught in the first instance most probably reason governance is mains specific topic before going for the main specific only main specific topic we'll be teaching you the core part for example before governance you need to study geography history you know the basic subjects the core subjects and then we can go for you know disaster management or uh, you know uh, this thing your uh, internal security and etc and what you mentioned governance yes only history no 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 that is not the case complete batch will be there all the subjects of the you know uh, all the GS subjects for example polity history geography economy disaster management internal security ethics essay uh, then then everything everything all the GS subjects will be taught don't worry about uh, general sub general sub general studies general studies all subjects will be taught in this batch CSAT yes CSAT is also included geography optional no optional subjects are not being taught only okay you can take it like this only optional subjects will not be taught in this batch this is only GS batch, general studies batch. Take it like this. Uh, sir, currently I am in class 11. I want to pursue my dream in civil services, but my parents have insecurity about it. Can you suggest me something about it? I'll be very obliged. Okay, we know that's great. You are thinking about UPSC in class 11th only, right? But you have, a, you know, a long, a long, you can say, uh, time to, to go for, you know, for reaching the decision that you have to prepare for UPSC, maybe let it be right go for class 11 class 12 and once you are in college your parents will also take you more seriously but by the side keep on reading newspaper keep on reading ncrts and all so that you have that foundation and once you are in college when your parents will take you more seriously then tell them that no okay now i want to prepare for upsc right so that's how you can go about this uh, sir we should print notes uh, up to you if you want to print notes if you think that printed notes help you you can go for printing otherwise it may not be required you can only you know you go through the pdf if that works for you uh ag verma is talking about uh AG verma is talking about optional prices how that can be dropped uh, again i have no uh, not much idea about this so maybe i'll come back to you on this maybe in the batches uncle batches if there is information i'll ask team i'll let you know right so in, on monday's class i'll announce that as well okay tsat also attaching sankal 2.2 yes it is attached current affairs yes current affairs will be covered current affairs will be covered uh, you know you can see there will be weekly classes plus ma uh, magazine is also there plus there is current affair analysis on your youtube which is available to you anyway is it going to be fruitful if I'm not able to attend the live classes? Uh, yes, it is still fruitful. Uh, the thing is you need to you need to be more you can say uh, uh, more active with respect to your doubts so that once you have doubts and you think that you need to be you need to clear those doubts, maybe you can come in some of the classes where when it is live to ask doubts. Otherwise you can if, you, if there is no doubt if you think okay I can handle doubts and all 
uh, you can go through the recordings as well there is no issue as such okay what about degree first year students uh, Vivekanand see if you're if you're in first year and all uh, even then you can start preparing at least uh, see to first year students I can suggest that you can go a bit slow and you can go in more depth when it comes to core subjects for example history geography polity economy again since you are in first year and you have a lot of time uh, you can focus more on current affairs uh, you can focus more on maybe you know NCRTs and as I said core subjects uh, how your main answer will be evaluated main answers evaluation that we will uh, bring separately that is not the part of this batch yet if it is part of the batch it will be you know it will be declared separately who teaches modern history I teach modern history Praveen yeah but along with me there are other teachers as well who teach modern history of course uh, right now uh, okay class of DMET <laughs> Okay, so class up, I'm right now teaching in Sankalp 1.0, Sankalp 2.0 and I'll be teaching in Titan 2.0 as well. Uh, most probably I'll be teaching Modern India as well. Should we copy notes on A4 sheets? Yes, I do that. I do make notes on A4 sheet and then I, you know, staple them and keep them for the future reference. Uh, how many hours are required on daily basis to prepare for UPSC? See, there is no set rule that this much, this, these many hours are required right uh, it depends how much time you take to complete your daily task you need to watch classes you need to uh, you know you need to self study after the classes and you can say even six hours is enough uh, but six hours i say is bare minimum not enough bare minimum if you can devote more nothing like that right i suggest that you can you should be devoting like eight to ten hours that will be super helpful post independence and art and culture is not mentioned yes it will be taught service don't worry okay okay guys i think uh, i think i have uh, addressed your queries and uh, you if you still have query you can maybe comment and maybe we can make a different video again also by the way by the way very very important announcement okay guys i told you that there will be an announcement so coming back to that announcement okay so one more thing left let me talk about this as well uh, about support right so we will provide tech and app support not only to the future students to the current students as well right so there is contact us and uh, you can you can click on whatever your issue is you can also click on suppose payment related issues and you can write down whatever the issue yeah so announcement coming back to the announcement so yes for the first three days for the first three days that means three classes of Kapil Sikha sir polity and three classes of my ancient India right they will be completely free you can you can watch you all can watch you know all the three classes or basically six classes for the first three days right and then you you can you can also then decide you know how it is going whether it you know whether you are able to retain or not and yeah so you are most welcome in the classes yeah so we'll wait for you we'll see you there and we'll have discussion again again if there is any doubt do let us know in the comments in this video uh, me and Kapil Sikka sir will take your doubts here as well right after the class of course not before the class or during the class after the class we can have a catch up we can have that discussion again he, you know suppose if you think okay this is being taught or not yes it is being taught if it is part of general studies only optionals will not be taught in this batch otherwise all the other subjects all the subjects of general studies will be taught in this batch right so do not worry about that right only optionals only optionals will not be taught here yeah okay uh, 50 50 mcqs plus 10, 10 current affairs you saying the answer ye, uh, answer writing is not included in these 60 minutes answer writing is up to you you can take your own time it is only for only for your uh, mcqs other part explain how to pay okay so, so i'll show this video again to you it's very simple okay so you have to go to our website click on upsc csc select upsc csc if it is not selected right selected great then click on foundation because as i said this is foundation batch then upsc titan 2.0 this is the batch we are discussing here uh, if you click on explore you can directly go for buy but yes description all the batch description everything all the faculties here right you'll get to know yeah all the doubts maybe your doubts will be cleared here as well 
classroom all the upcoming classes will be here in the classroom announcement all the announcement will be uh, basically all the notices announcement will be in the announcement then order you can click on the uh, you can say uh, buy and uh, this is the batch plus plus click on play now pay now and then the regular payment right and um, you know how to make so yeah coming back so uh, so i think i made my point right and best of luck uh, I hope you'll all do great and I hope to see you all in the classes. Yeah, so okay, so let me conclude the uh, class now. Thanks a lot. See you again. Bye bye. Take care. Best of luck.